Korean battle. It's a full best in qualifying with 13.633 as a four-time European champion. Martina Maggio of Italy. Mara the seventh strongest in qualifying. And the young Romanian Britain, gymnast Mara Cheplinski, tenth strongest in qualification. And Jessica Gadirova of Great Britain. 13.866 The parallel bars competition. Lucas Dowser, the, the top qualifier. 15.166 for him. Silver medalist in 2017. Nikita Nagorny, the fifth. Representing strongest Turkey in Ahmed qualification. Ender. Already has taken a whole host of medals at this competition. Ahmed Under of Turkey. Representing Turkey. Ferhat silver medalist Arisha. at the World Championships in 2019. The seventh strongest in qualification. Ferhat Arujan of Turkey. Ukraine. The Ilya reigning Kofnun. European champion and the second strongest in qualifying. Ukraine's Ilya Kovtun. 10th strongest in qualification, the, the bronze medalist in the all-around competition. David Beliavsky, the all-around silver medalist and the fourth strongest in qualification. Pablo Brega. Pablo Brega of Switzerland, the sixth strongest in qualification with 14.833. He was fifth in the all-around final. And Christian Bauman of Switzerland, third strongest in qualification. This is fourth European Championships and he competed in the all-around final. Kim Bui will get the competition underway in the women's floor exercise. The start list for the women's floor final sees Julia Steingruber replaced by Caroline Udui, the first reserve. Anglina Melnikova is the top qualifier and she will go second in the order. Victoria Listenova, the second strongest in qualification, will go fourth and will finish with Jessica Gadirova of Great Britain, the third best in qualification. Top qualifier Lucas Dowser will get us underway in the parallel bars competition. Fuhad Arujan of Turkey is the second strongest in qualifying. He will go fourth in the order. So we begin the women's floor final with Kim Bui of Germany, the 32-year-old, seventh in the all-around, the highly accomplished gymnast and scientist.
We've said it before, we're going to say it again, and we're not going to apologise for saying it again because some things need to be said. You can be 32 and be at your best in this sport. She is proof of it. Lesson learned. There is such a serenity to her gymnastics. Everything is done beautifully. This floated double layout to begin the routine, just fantastic. And we've been watching Kim Bui for so many years, and you're right, Ollie, she has never looked better than she does right now. She is an extraordinarily composed and calm athlete. When you do the kind of work that she does, when you work in the extraordinary high-level atmosphere of scientific research, you obviously are somebody who can handle pressure. If you can balance that with being an elite-level gymnast, you are truly among the very finest of us all. You are. The only thing in this routine, on that last tumbling pass, the double pike, you see both of her feet go out of bounds. That will cost three-tenths of a point in deduction. Well, that will yield dividends. Splendid from Lucas Dowser. How great to see him get through that routine with cleanliness in the final when he had such uh, problems at the World Championships in Stuttgart. Kimboi begins with 12.6 in this floor final. Down a little bit from her qualification performance. Now, here is a gymnast who certainly has the difficulty to really make herself a strong case for taking this title. Angelina Melnikova had a 14.3 in qualification with a difficulty score of six, the only six difficulty score of any of the finalists. She's already won three medals at this competition. Nikova said that she was just so excited, so uh, delighted, so surprised at the joy of winning the Uneven Bars title yesterday. How she managed to carry that through into her floor routine. There's big work going on here, Blythe. Very big. And all of her routines are constructed to enhance her extraordinary athleticism. And it comes out on this first tumbling pass, full twisting, double layout, perhaps the only one that we're going to see in this final. A little question whether she might have stepped over the tape in taking a step back on that first tumbling pass, but if she did not, the line is in. This very nice double layout, second pass. She doesn't even seem winded by the time she gets to her fourth pass, double pike. Over the course of these championships, and he just seems to look fresh as a daisy most of the time. <laughs> he does, but for a lot of the gymnasts, 
just as you say, they are settling into competing again. And we saw some nervy moments from some in the qualification. It's 13.9 for Angelina Melnikova. She's down by 0.4 from her score in qualification. And her teammate is uh, coming up soon. She produced a slightly higher score in qualification than Melnikova has just received. Now to Caroline Adui of France, the first reserve for this final. She scored 13.1 in qualification the 17-year-old making her first senior European Championships appearance. Well, Carolina Dewey has uh, evidently hurt herself on this uh, first tumbling pass and she has wisely taken the decision to go no further in the routine and that is great uh, intelligence from this young athlete she's known for her extraordinary determination and her attention to detail in training and uh, she will not go any further wisely and will now be given some uh, treatment. Oh, it was a, a very tough opening tumbling pass, wasn't it, for Adri? It was, and she takes a lot of risk in going for the Arabian double front. It's a blind landing, so she doesn't see the ground before she lands. And when you land like that, with your legs straight, we call it a lock-legged landing, you risk hurting your knees. It's a painful, painful moment, surely, for the athlete. And we have to look back and remind ourselves that although we saw her walking off the floor in pain, we at least see her walking off the floor and the right decision. It's not easy training when the gyms are closed. It's not easy training when you can't be with your coaches and your teammates. Now, still receiving medical attention is Carolina Dewey. And if you're just joining the broadcast, she had a very troublesome landing in her first tumbling pass and opted to step off the competition floor rather than go any further with the routine. And that a decision that certainly will minimise what damage has been done. To Victoria Listonova of the Russian Federation, the second strongest in the qualification process and the all-around champion. Just 15 and the champion of Europe in all-around gymnastics, Victoria Listanova. A tough competition today in the floor final, but overall a superb debut European Championships for her. And she did handle this difficulty with uh, real composure, actually. Oh, she did. And this routine 
has so much going on in it. This the two whip backs through to a triple fall. She doesn't get the rotation that she needs to to go for a good landing, but she does fall safely. There are four hard tumbling passes in this routine. Gymnasts can only do a maximum of four tumbling passes on women's floor, and she takes advantage of that. Very nice double tuck here. Ahmed Unde scores 9.666. The rest of it was smooth sailing. He's founded an academy in Izmir. He wants to train children to be better than he is. He's saying he's already thinking about the next generation. They've done their work. Their work is still going on, obviously, but he's thinking about who comes after him. He's going to devote himself to that after his retirement. So we have confirmation of the uh, score for Caroline Adui, but this is one of those occasions where the number is uh, a meaningless thing. What matters is the gymnast. That's always what matters. 12.033 for Victoria Listenova. Third place for her. To Vanessa Ferrari of Italy, the fourth strongest in qualification collection of European Championship honours going back as far as 2006. For the first time in six years, we see Vanessa Ferrari competing at the European Championships of Artistic Gymnastics. She was the champion on the floor exercise in 2014. She has seven medals at the European Championships. And it has been wonderful to see her back and competing skills like this, the double twisting, double tuck opening pass, something that she has absolutely mastered over the years. She's been doing that for 15 years now. Double layout, second pass. And one of the highlights of this routine was the third pass, full twisting, double tuck, and she just plants her feet doesn't move. That's how you do it. Now, where does uh, Aljan sit? He sits. Front, blind landing. Now, what is the number for Vanessa Ferrari? It's 13.6 for the Italian, and she is in the silver medal position, virtually as she delivered in qualification. Still, Melnikova leads 
then it is Ferrari. Martina Maggio of Italy, seventh strongest in qualification with 13.333. She did have a 0.1 penalty for going out of bounds on one of her tumbling passes. There is depth and quality in Italian gymnastics in both women's and men's competition, and she is part of that. Martina Maggio. Highly entertaining, high energy routine. Four tough tumbling passes here. Begins with the double layout. Very nice body position. A little bit of leg separation, but. Six, she goes into the bronze medal position with two gymnasts to go, one of whom was the third strongest in qualification. Now, here is a gymnast who really has demonstrated. Just rock steady so far. Well, there's a story who was the third strongest in qualification. Now, here is a gymnast who really has demonstrated remarkable fortitude in her career, her young career. Was the third strongest in qualification. Now, here is a gymnast who really has demonstrated remarkable fortitude in her career, her young career. Maria Chaplinski of Romania. Senior international debut for this 15 year old junior all around and floor silver medalist last year.
This is a gymnast who did extraordinary things in 2020, considering that she was injured for five months with back trouble. She trained at home for three months in quarantine in the living room, probably not doing those tumbling passes. She was very ill as a young athlete as well, She's overcome a lot. She has been one of the breakout sensations of this European Championships and shows us why with these four tumbling passes. Double layout to open does take a step out of bounds, but that's only going to cost her a tenth of a point. And this very nice double tuck immediately.